How's it going, bros? This is a way different video today. Yes, we're seeing how well a doge knows history. <laughs> I'm giving you answers for history tests, people. Because one of my favorite subjects in school is history, and I love U.S. history. So let's see how well. Oh, you see my cursor? You see my cursor? It's a doge. But anyway, let's just see how well a doge knows history. Which famous historical? Are you serious? It's Abraham Lincoln, bro. Abraham Lincoln, White House. I th yeah, White House. This is the Washington Monument. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I know. It's an atlas. All right. Ulysses S. Grant. That's not Ulysses S. Grant. That's George Washington. Our first president. George Washington was our first president. And the Pacific Ocean is the largest, and the Arctic Ocean is the deepest, which only has a depth about, I think, like 2,000 feet. That's Martha Luce, Lu <laughs> That's Martin Luther King. Frederick Douglass is a beast. All right, continue. Continue. Can you pass this point in history? Who was the female native guy? To Lewis and Clark. Lewis and Clark expedition. When Thomas Jefferson purchased the Louisiana Purchase. Oh, oh, this was in Boston. So I went for I went to Boston, New York, and uh, Niagara Falls in Canada. So, and Plymouth Rock is in Massachusetts. I'm literally giving you history answers, guys. Harriet Tubman helped establish the Emancipa Emancipation Proclamation was signed by Abraham Lincoln, not Harriet Tubman, and the Underground Railroad was used for slaves. See, escaping slaves, Underground Railroad. This underground railroad is a system of trails hiding places to help slaves to escape to the north where they could live freely. And that was at Canada. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? That's Thomas Jefferson. It literally gives you the hint right there. But which country did the British branch outlaws in the late 18th? Who's a silverfish crawling on my desk right now? What is the 1773 act of protest involved in dumping a beverage into the Boston Harbor? So, have you ever heard of the Boston Tea Party? The Bostonian Tea Party was when everyone was infuriated with the tea tax, which they charge them for tea. So it's the Bostonian Tea Party. I was also there at the site. It was pretty cool. Continue. That's John F. Kennedy. That's in Texas. That was that was when Davy Crockett and Daniel Boone fought for Texas freedom against the Mexicans. I hope. I really hope. There's 13 colonies, 50 was 50 states was until like way after them. Oh, come on, man, what is our anthem? It's a Star Spangled Banner. All right. Oh, 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 who was the famous for the Midnight Ride? Warning for the imminent. Okay, so I think Patrick Henry Yes, I think Patrick Henry who said, Give me liberty or giveth me death. 
I think that was Patrick Henry. I'm probably wrong. I'm most likely wrong. So that was Paul Revere. Alright. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's not Harry and Tubman. Oh yeah, it's Rosa Parks, where she where she didn't let a white man uh take her seat, so she got arrested. Continue! The first success of a permanent English settlement in North America was called Jamestown. Not Madras. That is when the pilgrims landed, created the town. From which country did the U.S. gain its in Great Britain. I'm giving you history answers, bro. Let's see how much questions we have left, and maybe we'll do another one. Oh, it doesn't say. Maybe we'll do another one. Another one. DJ Khaled! For what history did he was gain- Okay, yeah, it's Great Britain. We have 20 questions left. There we go. Which famous- Oops, 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 no, oops, this is Benjamin Franklin, Benjamin, who is the or, oh, 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 I don't know geography, I know history, I don't know geography, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, hmm, <laughs> is it, Missouri River to Oregon? Oh. Oh! No! I don't want to look at a Jeep. Alright. I don't want to buy a Jeep. Alright. Which nation split from India in the wake of India again? It gets into India was part of Great Britain, not me. Azerbaijan. I'm gonna go with Pakistan. Pakistan. Oh! 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 That'd be Theodore Roosevelt. Correct. I'm giving you answers to history tests. See? I'm educational. So if your parents don't want you watching YouTube and they see you watching my channel, you can just say. Oh, he's educational. He's teaching us history. Which scandal caused President- Oh, that's easy. Benghazi! What? 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 Never mind, that wasn't easy. The landmark Supreme Court case found versus the Board of Education ended. Segregation and abortion. Segregation is when there would be a school for uh, white people and black people and it, it, was, it was lame it was very lame so they ended that which of these groups from, is from a Scandinavian samurai is from Japan I don't know world history I only know American history Oh yes, that was also very dumb book too. Women couldn't vote. It was very dumb. All right. Oh 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 oh. Oh wait, no. Pablo Picasso was an artiste, so that's Leonardo da Vinci. He created the Mona Lisa. Who invented the telephone? You would say Thomas Edison, my friends, but it's Alexander Graham Bell. Alright. The Declaration of Independence. No, because America was officially separated from Great Britain in 1776. And it is 1776. Because... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright. Which 
I don't know Joanne of Arc. Internet, she looks French. So I'm gonna go with Internet. The Oregon Trail! The idea that is the mission of America and to spread across the tiny American cont continent was called a manifest destiny, guys. You have to learn this. This, I'm giving you history answers. So, yeah. Alright, already there. Already there. Nani! What system of government is car- Yes. Marx was all about the rights of the worker and wrote both the Communist Manifesto. Who was the first lady? Barbara, this isn't black and white. This is not color. When George H.W. Bush was in president, it was Barbara Bush. What is the name commonly used to refer to the operation of with allies, forces, land, and Normandy? D-Day. Not Normandy Day, it's a D-Day, peoples. Continue! Uh... She is the one who made, uh, she was the one who flew all the way around the world, but then disappeared. What force migration of under President Andrew Jackson led to the death of thousands of Native Americans? Okay, this is important. When Andrew Jackson was in, well, when he was in the Civil War, he didn't really follow orders, so... He, um, when Daniel Boone fell under his command, um, they, uh, targeted American Indians for, um, because, so, no, that was a revolutionary, no, yeah, yeah, no, 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 okay, so Andrew Jackson was when, um, he hired, um, to call it, uh, he, so what he did was he made his men target the American Indians because um, they were attacking their camps. Um, when and then with Daniel Boone, that was way that was in when that was in the um, the frontier focus of American history when in the north uh, all. All the Revolutionary War was going on, so that was the Trail of Tears. All right, what did Jean Hans's Gutenberg introduce to Europe? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Oh, we will rat. Which founding father is famous for signing the signature really, really large? That'd be John Hancock. When you see the Declaration of Independence, or you see a copy of it, and you see that gigantic signature in that, right? Because John Hancock was wealthy, because he was, um, he had British parents, so they were very wealthy, so they sent him with his, uh, rich uncle, and they. Uh, what you might call it? They taught him the the really fancy writing that only rich people in England knew how to do. So he signed it in that in that print, very large, on the Declaration of Independence, basically saying, "I don't like you, England. I am part of the United States now." We score ninety five. You're smarter than the fourth grader. You should go brag to everyone now. High five. Oh my gosh. <laughs>